Technician A says proper starter operation depends on the battery being at a 95% charge and battery cables being of the correct size gauge and having no more than 0. 8 volt drop. Technician B says voltage drop testing includes cranking the engine, measuring the drop in voltage from the battery to the starter, and measuring the drop in voltage from the negative terminal of the battery to the engine block. Who is right? B only, technician A is wrong because the battery charge state should be 75% not 95% in the cable, voltage drop should be less than 0.2 volts not 0.8 volts. Technician B makes a correct statement. Using a DMM digital multimeter, a fully charged 12 volt battery should indicate how much voltage on the open circuit voltage OCV test. Twelve point six volts. The standard is two point one volts per cell, and two point one times six is twelve point six volts. A technician connects one lead of a DMM digital multimeter to the positive plus terminal of a battery, and the other meter lead to the B terminal of the starter solenoid, and then cranks the engine. During cranking, the voltmeter displays a reading of 878 millivolts. Technician A says this reading indicates the positive battery cable has very high resistance. Technician B says this reading indicates that the starter armature is defective. Of only, technician A is correct because voltage drop should be less than 0.2 volts not 0.878 volts or 878 millivolts. Technician B is wrong because this test does not test the integrity of the armature, which is done through... If the battery terminals are corroded, what tool is used to remove the battery cable? Battery connector puller. A battery connector puller is the appropriate tool because the other tools can damage the battery post and require a replacement battery.
When jump-starting a vehicle using jumper cables with a dead battery, what is the correct procedure? Connect plus positive to plus positive and negative to negative. You always connect plus positive to plus positive and negative to negative. Two technicians are describing battery charging. Technician A says to remove the surface charge from a recently charged battery and apply a 300 ampere load across the adapters for 15 seconds. Technician B says to remove the surface charge from batteries, which have been in storage. Who is right? Of only. Tech A is right because to remove the surface charge from a recently charged battery, you apply a 300 ampere load across the battery for 15 seconds or turn on all electrical accessories. Tech B is wrong because you do not remove the surface charge from batteries, which have been in storage. <laughs>